Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Today we are spotlighting our next guest who is an award-winning illustrator and one of the few women of color who has broken through in the male-dominated mm. comic book space. Yes, please welcome down to the circle the comic book creator extraordinaire herself, Afua Richardson. Yes! yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for you, having me. You look gorgeous from head to toe. I say a collar got it all the going collar. on. <laughs> By itself. Sets it off. Mm -hmm. Yes, Thank you're you. so welcome. So in 2008, you won the Reader's Choice Award for the miniseries Genius. Yes, you did the uh, first run image, which was iconic. What was the inspiration behind this? Wow, look at that. It was a very uh, powerful series about a strategic genius that was born in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. in the hood. And so instead of applying that kind of skill to wartime strategy or um, military use, she started seeing how, uh, the patterns yeah. of her own community, seeing the cycle of arrests and public school and just how people were fighting each other. And she figured out a different way yeah. for her community to live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she sort of ignited a citizen's militia amongst the gangs, wow. bloods, crips, instead of oh, fighting wow. each other, fighting with together. each other. Yeah. And uh, she, she started, started going into the different patterns of police selling drugs mm. to these same criminals who ended up in, in, in jail. And so it, it was just, just right out of the gate, I was like, oh my gosh, yeah. this is a little beyond Superman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a lot. Yeah. And right. it came out right before um, the events of Ferguson, Missouri. Oh, wow. So people thought that I was taking things right from the headlines and putting it in the series, but uh, it's terrifying that this is relevant. Mm -hmm. But comic books are a very powerful means mm -hmm. of a larger conversation. Yes. So it's yes. really, really proud yeah. to be yes. a part of that. Yeah. Now, some of your images are some of the most recognizable in the comic book genre. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, the world of Wakanda comic book series influenced the CG team in the making of the Black Panther movie. Mm. Yes. I was I was so honored to be How a part of that. How did that child tell us oh the tea? My How gosh. did that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because this movie went berserk. Yes, definitely. It was so powerful for people to see super images of brown faces. My God. People were just yes, so proud. They were coming out to the theaters in costume. Because what it did was it said, hey, you know what? You can have a very strong black protagonist and it not be a quote unquote black film. Yeah. This is universal. Mm -hmm. This yes. is for everybody. I see young Asian children dressing as the Black Panther. Yes. I see, you know, young, you know, Caucasian girls dressing as Shuri, yes, that exactly. is their favorite Disney princess. Yeah, yes. And what does that say? You know, that says, hey, you know what, this is a universal concept and you can be a part of this. Yes, so I'm for sorry. me to be a part of that was phenomenal. Yes. Wow, do you know, like people watching right now, there's a little girl who writes, I mean, who draws comic book characters and now they get to see someone who actually does it. Does, yes. How does that make you feel? Let me, first of all, <laughs> let, let me tell you, I, I want you to answer that question, then we'll run down yes, your extensive resume. Yes. How does it make you feel knowing that you're making a difference? Every, every time I hear it, I, I kind of start to cry because, you know, my father is a physicist and he was a painter and mm -hmm. he did not have the opportunities that I have. But because of his sacrifice, I'm able to do what wow. I'm able to do. And he understood that. He understood that it just wasn't the right time. You know, that it, it, it takes evolution. You know, we are, we are evolving species and we're going through these times and, and he tells me the stories of the things that he endured and the things that he was not able to do. And I say, well, what is my excuse? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, he, he gave me, he would just give me some crayons and kind of leave me to my own devices. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I didn't have the psych psychological permission to move forward because I thought, well, there was no space for me. Mm. Yeah. Then I started going to comic conventions and I saw Gail Simone and Joyce Chen and Celia Kyle and Alethea Martinez and I said, well, they're already here. Yes. yes. I don't have to make a space. Right. I have to make my space. And you did, and you've done that. <laughs> X-Men 92, yes, Captain Marvel, Captain America, and the Mighty Avengers from Marvel Comics, All-Star Batman, Wildstorm <laughs> for DC Comics, Mad Max, and so much more. Selena. Oh, my God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the new project. Yes. Uh, X-Men The Dark Phoenix. Yes. Talk to us about that. Oh, the I Dark saw the movie. Phoenix. Oh, my gosh. It's so good. <laughs> it's, so, it's so intense because you're dealing with a, a character who is technically the most powerful Man. psychic in the universe. In the universe. Mm. And this alien entity recognized that she 
was strong enough to contain it. Yes. So you've got a person who can move anything, hear everyone's thoughts in the entire world, yeah. and she has to balance her own trauma and her own rage and her own feelings of inadequacy or abandonment and, and keep that together with this fighting force in her mind. Yeah. And I don't know, I'm, I have trouble with my own. Yeah, I, mean, right. I can't take anybody I love else. how I was a woman, though. Yes, right? absolutely. We're in the name of yes. women. Yes. Come yes. on, people. That's Speaking right. of which, you're one of three women uh, who designed the collector cards. Yes. yes. Isn't that exciting? It's so exciting. It's so good. It's so exciting. Women are turning up. Yes. Okay, you know, I just, I'm, I'm just so, I feel so fortunate yes. that I get to do this mm -hmm. for a living. And then I meet other little girls and boys who are like, I want to be an artist, but I just don't know how. We, we hear about starving. Yeah. artist but you know what every single purchase that we make an artist has touched that yes. mm -hmm. from the graphic design to the illustration there is a space for artists yes and even the concept of genius where does that come from evolving a craft and the craft itself evolving through you yes yeah. And we're so glad that it is evolving through yes. you and continuing to evolve <laughs> through trying. you. And I know that when little girls and little boys or even folks that are just trying to dream who are older, they yes. see you, we see you, yes. and we're grateful oh, for you. Yes, Thank God. You. Yes, Thank yes, so my much. God. Thank you. If you want to find out more about X-Men Dark Phoenix, it's available now on all digital platforms. And don't forget to pick up your 4K Ultra HD Collector's Cards Edition at Walmart starting September the 17th. Thank you so much. Yes. 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 yes.